Well, hello, this is Andreas Ekström, another day, another dollar, or at least another day. I'm a liver transplantee, which I think you might know if you follow me here. I got a new liver put in this fall after several years of having primary sclerosing cholangitis. It's just a dis disease that strikes at random out, bad luck, and I got that. But I was lucky, I got a new liver put in, and I do know who my organ donor was. You're kind of not supposed to know, the hospital won't tell you that. But the system of secrecy is not really set up to withstand the curiosity of an old muckraking reporter like myself. So with a little bit of method and a little bit of luck, I was actually able to identify the donor. Um, but that was old school. I'm thinking new school. Think about this. Every year they will perform a biopsy on me, get a little bit of my liver out, put it in a microscope, make sure it's fine. What if I bring that sample with me, get the DNA, send it to a place like 23andMe and have a professional family researcher go through it and just map out where that family was from? I have the DNA. I will be able to find my organ donor if his family is in the database. And we're all very soon in the database. Are we really thinking this through? You know, I'm not so sure. Um, I just have a feeling that ideas of secrecy and the idea of DNA as being your personal private thing, that's going to pass for good or for bad.